And we are covering Colorado first in Aurora. Surveillance camera video captures the moment a car slams into a donut shop. A father and his young son inside the shop were heard in the crash. And now police are hoping the public can help put that driver behind bars. Police say that driver was in a stolen car. Happened Saturday at City Donut. That's near 6th and Peoria in Aurora. Connor McHugh joins us from there. New now tonight. And Connor, terribly frightful for everybody involved. Yeah, Karen, frightful, but surprisingly, two days later, the storefront or the store is back open, but you can still see the boarded up storefront as well as some damage to the bricks at the bottom there. After that car came through the intersection right over here and smashed right into this side of the building. But while this looks bad, employees here say it could have been much worse. Near 6th and Peoria in Aurora, they say the specialties are donuts and smiles. But Saturday, customers were greeted with something else. And this was all one big piece of glass. Kirk Manzanares saw it all firsthand, as did the security cameras inside City Donuts. I heard the hit, the initial hit, and the dad grabbed the son and jumped right where you're standing. My first initial is, where's the kid? Where's the kid? Aurora police say the father and his four-year-old child were taken to the hospital for minor injuries, but are doing okay. The car that came careening through was reported stolen, and two suspects got away. Manzanares says these poles outside kept things from being any worse. If it would have been any faster, it would have been disastrous. Still, the crash took out windows, brick, and forced staff to throw away every donut inside. While the store has since reopened, it's unclear how much repairs will cost. With COVID and supplies and employees and labor, it's probably going to be a significant a a cost, you know, and we just really hope that the insurance company shines through. Manzanares says this incident is the latest example of a growing crime problem that must be addressed. And we need to start a conversation about the real deep-seated issues that are in Aurora and where do we go from here. Manzanares says he is working with other businesses as well as community members to create what he calls the Aurora Safe Coalition. He says the goal of that would be to meet with different community leaders and come up with better solutions to this problem. So, Connor, when do these businesses think they can get together and form this new group? Well, right now it is really early on, but the plan is to have the first meeting on the 12th of this month. That'll be a Saturday, and they hope to meet every, every second Saturday of every month after that. Yeah, they're going to get things going. All right, Connor, thanks so much.